The latest police-involved shooting ended with this woman's son dead. We, we don't go out uh, anticipating, expecting, desiring to use deadly force. Uh, absolutely not. But, uh, you know, we'll do what we need to do to protect ourselves and to protect the general public. Norfolk Police spokesperson Chris Amos said 20-year-old Kenneth Smallwood would not comply with police and backed into the responding officer's police cruiser with this stolen car. The officer was behind the hood. And he was reacting to a car coming at him. So uh, when, when you're talking a, a several thousand pound car and an accelerator, you don't need a lot of distance to do an awful lot of damage. You can see some damage to the front end of the police cruiser. At the time, the officer did not know the car was stolen. Did he know who the suspect was? Uh, not at that point. Or the suspect's history? No. I mean, that, that's, that's the disadvantage we have as police officers. Uh, rarely do we know who it is we're stopping in, in any given scene or at any given time. In addition to an investigation by police, the case will be reviewed by people outside of the police department. Commonwealth attorney, they'll, they'll come out, they determine justified or not. And the information the Commonwealth attorney will use in this outside investigation is evidence and information gathered from officers, homicide detectives, and forensics investigators within the Norfolk Police Department. Is it really an external investigation if all of the evidence and findings is coming from the department itself? Again, experts in their field. On August 20th, a similar situation played out on Minnesota Avenue in Norfolk. Police said just after 1 a.m., 21-year-old Marquise Martin drove a stolen car towards a police officer. The officer fired his weapon, hitting Martin, who died at the hospital. The officer was not hurt. I think the vast majority of folks understand the pressures that police officers are under.